servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries or hidden things of God. Moreover, it is required in stewards that one be found faithful. It is required of stewards that one be found faithful. We are not owners. You don't own anything. See, when people get in trouble, they take ownership of the gift. You're not an owner, you're a steward. You steward the gift that God has given you because it's not yours and never will be yours. But see, you can pollute the gift by taking ownership of it and then you do what you want to do. In other words, you get prostituted. But then you get mad when people prostitute you. But see, one thing about a prostitute, she lays down on her own. Stop acting like one. People won't treat you like one. The gift is not yours. It belongs to the Lord. You just can't go do what you want to do with it. You got to do what the Holy Spirit says you can do with it. Come on, somebody. You can't go preach everywhere. You can't go sing everywhere. Now, you go do whatever you want to do. I ain't going to rebuke you. I ain't going to say nothing to you. But I'm just telling you, I don't go preach everywhere. I don't supposed to be everywhere. I'm supposed to be where the gift takes me. The Bible said that a man's gift will make room from him, not John Lofton. My gift is what makes room for me and takes me before great men. So you better be careful where you're getting invited to. Hello, somebody. Now, I'm trying to just teach you Bible here. I'm trying to get you to have an understanding because God is recapturing his church. Yes, he is. And to do that, sometimes he's got to clean out the pollution. That's right. And we're going to take it somewhere. Who are we going to take it? To the dawn gate. Mm 